Mansour AK Farm, dealers and suppliers of cattle, rams, goats, and feeds. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's me and I'm Mansour AK Farm. Today we are going to discuss about the rise of a lumpy skin and the disease which is known in a local language as burda and this particular disease is very fatal most especially on the smaller ruminants like uh, goats and sheep and those kind uh, this kind of disease is very very uh fatal when it enters your farm and the cases have been reported and we are having a series of uh calls as this is what is happening in the farm and i take uh the time out to explain how to go about this particular uh, disease, how to treat this particular disease as the case uh, or I say the chances of the survival of the particular animal uh, can be categorized as 50-50 uh, and at the same time but if it is being taken care of at the early stage then it is very easy for those uh, diseases to be dealt with at the early stage and the rise of the uh, the rise in cases of a lumpy uh, skin disease could have a severe economic impact as the disease weakens the livestock and damage the skin of the animal it weakens the animal totally the livestock hide is being damaged as the skin will have some holes or i said uh, skin noodles skin noodles in the sense that you will see the skin is somehow rough somehow rough and how did you get to uh, how will you be able to know that this uh, this disease this particular disease has already entered your farm is that if you are not uh, if you are not paying attention on those kind of things in particular then you will be having serious kind of uh, uh, diseases without you noticing the type of disease that is uh, disturbing your your animals in the farm as the disease will weaken the animal and at the same time can be very devastating because it's a viral disease and other animal can contact it if not a bear, if the particular uh, animal has not been isolated and how would you be able to get to know is a lumpy skin one the skin is very rough two it uh, the animal will start having a pink eye three uh, this, uh, the skin is very rough and there will be a fever and the fever will be a kind of uh, very hard on the animal, on the particular animal. And another thing that will make you to get to know this particular lumpy uh, skin or I said burda is that it scarred the animal skin. It scarred the animal skin. And the animal will not be able to breathe well. Second, the animal will find it difficult 
to eat, it weakens the immune system. What it normally does is that it weakens the immune system totally so that the animal will not be able to eat, the animal will not be able to drink because it, all the mouth is being filled with different salt. And if you open the mouth of the animal, is, uh, the, uh, the mouth will be uh, a kind of foaming and have a particular type of smell which is not pleasant totally and even when slaughtered it uh the skin will have no use because this particular disease normally render the the hide worthless there is no need for any uh, the uh the the skin will have no use at all and if even if you slaughter the animal you will see that totally the meat will definitely go down because that animal has been suffering for uh, days without you not seeing about the particular sickness. So I'm going to still make mention of how you are going to get to know the uh, sickness. One, pink eye. Two, rough skin. Three, uh, the animal will start having a fever that you won't be able to understand what is happening to the animal. Then four, the animal will find it difficult to breathe. You will see the animal will be shaking and breathing like this through the mouth. Because the nostrils are already blocked. Salivating and nasal discharge can occur as time goes on. And the mouth of the particular animal will start foaming. And that animal will be totally dull. Now, we are going to... Uh, I'm going into the main topic to how to treat this particular disease. Normally... We don't normally treat this uh, 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 disease uh, with injection. What we normally treat uh, this particular disease with is one, ampiclos, two, uh, milk from those Fulanis that they normally sell, which is refers to as no no. No no. Ampiclos and milk from cow that those Fulani people normally sell which is known as no 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 uh -huh. now if you have this particular uh, uh, disease once you take notice once you t uh, once you understand that this is what is happening then the first thing that you would do, get the clofenac, the clofenac tablet, grind it like three tablets, grind the three tablets, then get uh, ampiclos, four, tab, uh, four capsules, uh, open it, don't, uh, put, uh, don't include the shell, open it, pour the content, the content out. Mix it with the diclofenac, then put, uh, pour it inside a particular bottle like Fanta, Fanta bottle or Coke or Coca Cola bottle. Then put uh, like half cup of the milk inside the uh, inside the same container. Then stir it, shake it, add. A little amount of water into it and if you have multivitamin bolus then add the multivitamin uh, the multivitamin bolus grind it pour it inside the same co uh, container shake it and administer it to the said animal then when you do this in the evening you are going to do 
almost the same. Not the same. This time around, you will exclude the diclofenac because you have already given the animal the diclofenac tablet. And secondly, you have already given the animal the multivitamin. Uh, the multivitamin that's in the morning and uh, another thing which you include uh, is the nono uh, which is known as the milk from the cow and the ampiclos now what you are going to do is that you are still going to give the same animal the ampiclos the ampiclos and the milk only this time around in the evening time you are not to give it the diclofenac because you have already given it the diclofenac there is no need for you to give the said animal the uh, another uh, uh, diclofenac in the evening there is no need there is no need for you to give that same animal uh, a multivitamin so what you are going to do is only the ampiclos and the uh, the the milk when you give the animal uh, this particular uh, uh, this particular mixture in the evening then you will see you will notice changes one the diclofenac is going to target the pains the fever as the disease weakening the animal and uh, makes the animal not to be able to stand it will give the animal the strength then the uh, the use of the multivitamin which you include in the morning by giving the animal will boost the immune system as the disease target the immune system of the said animal so you are going to give it the uh, that particular uh, multivitamin that you given the animal is going to take care of the immune system note that before using the particular milk you are going to leave the milk to get fermented pour the milk that you are you know that you are going to start making use of inside a swan bottle or any type of container that you know you will seal it without uh, a particular air going into that container then leave it for a day or two to get fermented the fermentation is what that is going to bring out those uh, those noodles out of the belly of that particular animal and the ampiclos will now take care of them internally and externally. So those are the things that uh, 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 these are the things that you are going to do. And for those of you that cannot get to those, uh, uh, get their lay their hands on those uh, milk and other things like that, can be able to use pen strip. Most especially pen strip no. Pen strip no. That particular uh, the pen strip is going to take care of the uh, difficulty breathing, and uh, the pen strip is also going to take care of the noodles. And you will now grind your uh, diclofenac tablet and administer it to the animal with together with uh, multivitamin. There is no need for you to use multivitamin injection. I know some of you will now say, what's the need? Uh, if I can inject it with a pen strip, uh, let me also inject it uh, with a multivitamin, uh, uh, a multivitamin injection. Don't do that. Just go straight to the bolus, which is better. Even as we are using the uh, pen strip, we are only using it mainly because it is still applicable. So that is what you are going to do. Try as much as possible and do this at the early stage. 
because once this is not being taken care of at the early stage, you will find it very difficult to treat this particular disease known as lumpy skin or burda. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash on the notification button to get alerted. Note, there is no treatment for lumpy skin disease or burda. No specific uh, treatment, but antibiotics and anti-inflammatory drugs and multivitamins is usually directed at treating the secondary bacterial infection. Inflammatory inflammation and fever can be treated to improve the appetite of the said animal. This particular mixture that I gave you are the main treatment at the early stage in which we normally use to treat a particular uh, uh, animal that is being hit with this this kind of disease. And as you can see, these are these nodules are very very hard on the animal skin and they are very very painful so i'm going to give more explanations on my second video that i'm going to make i keep you posted inshallah